All right, uh, today's HFR is going to be very, very quick, honestly. Because obviously the Habs play later tonight. Uh, I've just gotten home. As you can see, it's getting dark very quickly. Because uh, I was in Montreal last night for a loss. Um, by the way, Habs lost. And uh, my train ended up getting home uh, about an hour and a half late. But whatever, it was pretty awesome. You know, the game, I mean. Uh, well, not the first period, but anyway, we'll get to it. Otto Leiskinen, as well as Caden Primo, get their first career games. Uh, and you know what, Leiskinen, I... Did not notice him at all. Caden Primo, I thought, beside the Landeskog goal, was really, really good. Kept the Habs in it. What to talk about the first period besides the fact that Weber and Petrie on separate shifts got beaten down their wing and they both resulted in goals. Uh, yes, very coach Kinemi gets... It didn't look nice. This seems to be something that is split down the middle of Habs fans. Was it a dirty hit? Was it a clean hit? I haven't had the chance to really look at it, determine that myself. It looked like a clean hit. Maybe a bit rough on the follow-through from Nikita Zadorov, but again, I'm just not confident. Probably with me and Alex recording a new episode of the podcast on this weekend. I'll have a better opinion of that. Again, you can tell this is all very rushed, not very prepared. Mm. But anyway, uh, I thought the Habs were not good for about the first 12 minutes of this game, and maybe the KK injury kind of took the wins out their sails. It definitely felt like that. Uh, the Habs started playing well uh, in the second, I'd say. By the way, this is the first time I've got to watch Kale McCarr play. I did watch the Leafs game where Colorado won the other day, but I was kind of half paying attention. So this was the first game where I sat down, saw Kale McCarr, saw how good he was. And yeah, I understand. He had an assist last night, so that guy continues to be point per game. Uh, people were saying, hey, John Carlson's going to walk away with the Norse. Uh, Kale McCarr might have something to say about that, despite him for sure having the Calder. But um, Norris Trophy votes for sure are, are going to go Kale McCarr's way if the year keeps going the way it is. But anyway, later on in the second, Brendan Gallagher, who is just the, the heartbeat, you could say. I, I never stop talking about how great Brendan Gallagher is. Just a complete Brendan Gallagher goal going straight to the net. Ends up getting his 12th of the season. Sorry, not his 11th. Leading the Habs in goals is Brendan Gallagher. They were amazing in the third were the Habs. It was probably the most exciting period of hockey, I think, this year for the Habs. Unfortunately... They don't end up scoring a third goal to tie it up, but, you know, on the power play, Nick Cousins shut me up about being on there. It's still a mistake while him and Wheel are on there, but what are you going to do about it? Nick Cousins, though, gets some space in front, goes far side, buries it, 3-2 Habs, and I, he's, a. Uh, am obviously, the fans have a bit of a mm, thing with, with Nick Cousins, but he's the type of guy that I bet everyone in the room, coaching staff, players, seem to love. So, uh, nice, because he, he was just, Pumped up when he scored there. It'll shut me up for a few days, but mm, I'd see. Wait, no, because the Habs are playing tonight, and then I'll probably complain when I see a power play and he's out there. Uh, of course, I should mention it from earlier. Yes, very cold. Cammy does have a concussion. I think we all knew that the moment that it happened, but uh, he put a post on Instagram because of today is uh, Finland's Independence Day. Uh, he put the picture of him and Saku Koiver shaking hands at the captain's celebration game the other day. So, I mean, it's just another injury. He's going to be out for a while by the looks of it. And oh boy, I don't, apparently it looks like the Habs won't call anyone up, which I think is a mistake. I talked about how I would want to see Jesper Kotkiem maybe, you know, sent to the World Juniors. You give Paling a call up. Even after this, I would have said, come on guys, give Paling or Jake Evans a chance. But it doesn't look like that's going to happen. I don't know who's going to play third line center. Maybe they move Suzuki down, but then I don't know. It's, it's a tough situation. <laughs> And overall, just talking about how Montreal lost, yes, it's the second half of a back-to-back. -back. Yes, they probably should have played a little harder to start the game against, you know, Colorado, for Caden Primo. But, and of course, the eight-game losing streak that just happened probably makes a bit of losses feel a bit worse to Habs fans. But honestly, going into this game, I thought if they had gotten a point, it would have been a win, honestly, because it's, it's, say what you want about it being back half of a back-to-back, -back, but Nazem Kadri was out. But then at the same time, Gabriel Landis Cog came back, and I believe Audrey Barakovsky was also back. So, mm, it's Colorado. You you know, they got a win last night. They were feeling good about themselves. Yeah, they had their backup in that, but the Habs had a goal. He was playing his first game. And again, I thought he played well. So, ah, would you love to see them try and get a point out of it? Yeah, but I have a feeling tonight against the Rangers. They're looking for retribution from that other game, the 4 nothing lead they blew. Carey Price is in that, and he's going to want to prove people wrong. By the way, congratulations to him for winning the Molson Cup this month. So, yeah, that's going to be everything. Yeah, again, this is quick because I want to get something done before the game starts in a few hours against the Rangers. Uh, I'll see you then. Bye.